Yeah. What up, my people? I go by the name T Ram, aka the stylish rapper, aka Conchon, aka Fire, aka what I say, BBB. You're watching the Cardo TV. Keep it live. Don't go nowhere. Right. Mr. S and God bless you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. S and Mr. P. God bless you guys. Um, God in his own wisdom will bless you people. Thank you, my good team. Now, this is a new story that um, has come up and we need to discuss it. Ghana's secondary education ranked 137 out of 167 countries in the world. So, I just want to tell you, my fellow Ghanaians, that this shows how bad our education system, educational system, has come. Now, around the world, about 167 um, countries came together. Um, they, 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 they decided to basically um, check the quality of education in these countries. Ghana came 137. It clearly shows that our education, uh, basically um, the free SHS, and this is second cycle education, that's secondary school. It shows that free SHS isn't really doing well. Um, what I want to say is the government should look at free SHS well. There are so many things that they can do right. They can, they can basically look at, review, in fact, to make sure the ordinary Ghanaian, at least the taxes we are paying that they are using uh, in investing in the free SHS can benefit the Ghanaian um, um, child. So um, I would like to tell the president with all humility and respect and this government that at least we, we, we applaud them for continuing what John Mahama and the NDC started, which is the free SHS. Uh, but we believe that some things have not been done right and it will be better for them to relook really at our educational system again. Uh, this doesn't speak well of Ghana. It doesn't look good. Um, as a Ghanaian, when you sit back and you look at these numbers, it makes you feel that there isn't nothing happening in Ghana. So I'll plead with the education minister, um, Honorable um, Dr. Edichum, to sit up and correct some things. We believe that some things can be done right. Um, we as journalists have the right to criticize. Sometimes we have the right to let you people know things that you can do right to make things better. So um, as a journalist myself, all that I can do is um, I'm just pleading with the education minister, the president himself, Mr. President, Your Excellency, Nanado Dankwe Kufuado, to really look at our educational uh, sector, especially the second cycle education, that's the SHS. And then we, we have to, this doesn't look good. The numbers don't really look good. So I am pleading with the government, the taxpayer too is pleading, you know that you can do better. So the Kufuado administration and um, um, the whole country, uh, we are pleading that um, things will be done right. Okay, let's go to the next one. Now, this same story in another language. Um, uh, we In another, another English form. Uh, we, so we heard that the government of Ghana, our educational sector, um, the Ghana Secondary Education uh, ranked 137 out of 167 schools. Um, to be very fair with you, this government has been one of the most foolish government. Hi, hi, hi. Father God, sorry, Father God. This government has been one of the most careless government because you cannot run on this and tell us that you are basically um, uh, helped in our educational um, sector. Um, it, it's looking like uh, these numbers are not good, you know. But if the government is not thinking right, God, please. I really want to say what is in my heart. So you can pause my sin from now to like uh, 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock Ghana time. Then um, you can open my sin. But for now, this is off record, God. This one is off record. All right. Ghana's secondary education ranked 137 out of 167 countries in the world. This is the most despicable thing anybody can basically uh, understand now in, in, in the world. Now, yet Tigana, we've been living in this country, and these guys have been telling us that the free SHS, the free SHS is being talked about around the world. Every single person is envious of Ekufuado's free SHS. Now, the ranking is out. 137 out of 167, meaning we are in the middle. We have basically lost our position as one of those countries that could boast of its second cycle education. Because the president is foolish. Because the vice president is foolish. Because everything is got to do with politics. They have politicized everything because they have failed to review this, our educational sector. And especially the second cycle sector. You can see clearly that we are producing more students, but we are not getting quality out of them. And this is the same thing we've been talking about for the past seven years. That you can produce a lot of students. You can get a lot of kids to go to school. But at the end of the day, the quality that comes out of the schooling is what matters 
at the end of the day. If you are able to put 2 million kids in school and the quality that comes out is 2 million, is a waste, uh, the quality that comes out is not close to even 300,000. That it means that is basically a failed course. Now, continuously, the NDC, they have told this government, led by John Dramani Mahama, they have told this government to review our second cycle education. Things aren't done well, especially when it comes to student-teacher contact. When it comes to the, the number of days and time the students spend in school studying. There are so many schools in Ghana, they don't even have access to textbook. But the education minister is telling us that they are going to provide iPads for these kids who don't even have classrooms to sit, to learn. Now, this should tell you that the government, basically, it has lost its focus. The priorities of this government is, is off track. Now, when you see such numbers, if you're a Ghanaian, and when you see these numbers, they should tell you that the government of the day, they have failed when it comes to free secondary education. Now, this survey or this work was done by the Legatum Prosperity Index 2023. Now, you might see this as just a joke. Now, when you critically look at it, it means that when you take 137 countries in this world, Ghana is last. When you break this down, when you take 137 countries in this world, and then you want to basically assess Ghana's education, what you will see is that Ghana will be the last when you take 137 countries when it comes to second cycle education. So, this should tell you that our education has collapsed, especially second cycle education. We need serious recalibration to get the schools, the, 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 the free SHS itself. We need some serious review to get it back on track. Because when you see this, and after seven years, somebody coming to your house, somebody coming on your TV, Somebody coming into your workplaces and telling you that free SHS has changed the lives of Ghanaians. Basically, that person is doing politics. He's just basically playing on your mind. These are the raw figures. These are the results of the free SHS. This result you are seeing here is clearly a failed result. The government of the day, they have totally failed when it comes to second cycle education. And say, you break as a nation. Now you say, you serious, sir. You sit back and break this number into two. 137, it means so who ye have 50 countries cry or Africa, not 53 or 54 countries are. You can see where Ghana will be placed. It means the education I say. It means say in It means from day one, they never knew what they were doing. It has all it has all been politics. It has all been Mahama so Becha free SHS. But the same NDC started progressive free SHS. It has all been playing on the on the on 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 the, on the fear of the people. And the Utie NPP for campaigner. Mahama so betra free SHS. And the Utie MPP for oh Mahama Ba or Baba di four years pe. Oh, Ma Omiya the only president that the idea ni na say they want to put fear in people. And the students know for a fact to say, Ghana no mutino, they are not learning anything in school. Parents know they are paying more than when the kids were even going to school paying or whatever they called it. So we have to get this clear. Your education, no, senior high school, no, I say. I saw a video to, today or yesterday on social media. Some young girl be nanny papa you say, oh school. And I'll share them and be them. And we use it on senior high school girl. Ne papa ti be kwai. Ena o she e kuro biso. Ena e kuro na yedena ko tumwa ho no school no dormitories no ebi ni ho. Ena yako rente e diyan obi dain di ama small girl no. Ena mbranti e bisu tifi ho. Ena akorani sorry ya oni tivi no ti mbranti ene dem. En na dan fubi ko filme no. O she bo e bin dem ne mpaso eno da. Ena bo e ne dan so. Adan ya ne papa ti be kwai. Ne papa ni ema e kufu wadwa kache ene se. Free SHS. Ne ban beban wa fan yin se yamba or the dien beba or the ace beba fi em moa. These are the things that I also debi akach yam se mungine hum. It is a u number swe also yem show. Se yen chen ya ban we ya next year no yen ya wakoto one sixty seven. Muntiemi. Samu kosuma kentri dim winim. 
ba o miadi mwenim moko so na motena o ma san kwasi afo som so a samun kipi npp in power Ghana second cycle education next year you will go that 167 you best swat the whole world where you the whole world do and you toss 137 meaning you say a year a cry of Kazakhstan home education second cycle education is better than us that mean that means say a cry of Djibouti home second cycle education home SS no it is better than us and this should tell you say NPP for we know. This should tell you, say, NP before we know, they are basically playing on your conscience. Oma wu somewhere, Jimmy. Into every time be able to question, be ano. Mr. S, do you have the list here? Mr. S, do you have the list? Okay, so Mr. S has the list here. <laughs> so in 2016, Ghana was at 109. Right, Mr. S? Now let me place this on the screen. In 2016, Tamana Mahama, Afri Abaymuno. Now the whole world, UESS education around the world. Now Ghana at that 109. 2016. These are the facts. You see the numbers there? Now Ghana at that. 87. This in 2016 at Jomahama A free power no na Ghana da 109. This is previously na Ghana da 87. Now Ghana at da 137. The whole world do a 167. Ghana da 137. Time at Jomahama A free power. Progressive free SHS no. Na Jomahama at da 109. Before that, Ghana da number 87. Yeah. So, so share number na number eighty seven or over a one o nine on your right. Number eighty seven here just the number. And here a year day. And no Osha number eighty seven here rank. We were ranked eighty seven. Into Okwa country no a Ghana number eighty seven and a position here one o nine. 109. This is 2016. Thank you, Mr. S. Time and Mahama also know. Nagana was ranked 87. Osha, your position now 109. Ain't he? This tells you clearly. Say, Mahama was no. Professor Nano Pokwaj Mamu was no. Now your education is your papa. A change. And we are talking about a senior high school. And we are talking about a senior high school. Senior high school in 2016, na under John Mahama, na ye 109, and under a year Ekufuado, Baumia, any country, ye na 137. Ya catch them say, almost same educational, almost say be be our Ghana. You people should think, you people should be smart. Munjai tribal politics, no, there's no quality in Ghana's education today. Ekufuado. This government, led by Baumia, they don't respect you. They are destroying your lives. In reality, this is under John Mahama. And this is under Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado. This is it. 137. Ghana for Muntio. <laughs> a friend of mine, a judge, he just sent me a message. This is what he wrote. Ghana's education system is on intellectual life support, suffering from acquired intellectual deficiency syndrome, aids of education. That is where Ghana's education system is. Or say, Ghana's education system is on intellectual life support, suffering from acquired intellectual deficiency syndrome, aids of education, acquired intellectual deficiency syndrome. And then they afraid the aids, no? Education, mu aids, no? And a Ghana education, in ya. And the MPP, you know, our education is suffering from AIDS, acquired intellectual deficiency syndrome. And no, na yenya, ewa Ghana, your education, enye. Judge, na chobre, me, when I was in Kainjremo, 